Hey everybody, welcome back, Core Core's Baseball Card HQ. We are going for a 1983 Topps vending box. Uh, I have my first video, if you wanna, I'll try to link it in the description. If you wanna take a look at that one, um, I was successful. You can see um, from the cards behind that we were successful with that one. And we have a second vending box. This was a Dave and Adams purchase. I was not aware it, that when I read the description if this was going to be a um, from a sealed case or if these had been searched, but looking at them from this point of view, uh, this collated look, the striped look, this has not been searched. This is still fresh from 1983. Um, so this vending box is 500 cards. The set is 700 plus cards, I believe. Uh, the chances of getting one of these cards, you may not even get one. I could not pull any of the three big rookies. Tony Gwynn, um, Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, I covered all this in my first video, but these are all high-priced cards in a PSA 10. Uh, PSA 10 for the Gwyn is six to 700 right now. Currently, I'm using eBay sold prices. The Wade Boggs is anywhere from five to 600, if not a little bit more. Ryan Sandberg uh, is anywhere from 250 to 500, depending on how you look at it. You have some other higher-valued cards in a PSA 10. Cal Ripken runs anywhere from 60 to 80. Nolan Ryan's 100. Dennis Eckersley is a low-population card in a PSA 10. He can be anywhere from 80 to 100. Gary Gaetti's rookie, uh, low population PSA 10, and he can run anywhere from 80 to 100. All your Hall of Famers, um, and then the non-Hall of Famer Pete Rose, but like uh, Johnny Bench, Cal Rip, uh, I'm sorry, I already covered Cal Ripken, but uh, Ricky Henderson, George Brett, Robin Yount, Tom Seaver, Steve Carlton, uh, all those guys can run, uh, Ricky, Ricky Henderson, if I didn't say him, I remember. Anyways, uh, $30 to $60 PSA 10, so that's what we're hoping for. My first box was not centered that well. A lot of the cards were very off-centered. Um, the rookies that I got, um, I did pull, um, from the video prior, you'll see, uh, how many, I actually pulled multiples of one of them, and I pulled another one, um, and then I was, uh, I struck out on, on the third rookie, but we'll go ahead and start opening this box. I'm not going to repeat every name, guys. We don't need to see it. Uh, the last box started off hot, and we'll see if we can repeat that this time. Um, we're starting off with a Ken Griffey, and there's a Mike Schmidt. I'll start now. These front cards are damaged badly. Corner dings. Not even going to set them aside. Um, when the, with these these boxes are fragile, uh, a lot of times the outside cards suffer damage. So um, when they have dings like that, they're just really not going to hold up their value. Um, there's really no point in submitting them. You can sleeve them, but if they're bent up, you know, there's Steve Carlton. There's just not much value in them. So there's Reggie Smith, Mike Richard. I did notice actually from the last box there. What? Oh look, now that's a good one. It's not actually that bad on the centering. We have a Ryan Sandberg. It, well, it is. It is bad on the centering. Top to bottom, it's bad. Left to right, it's not too bad. Um, and the card itself is in good condition. There's no dings on this one. So I'll uh, go ahead and sleeve that one up really quick. I don't want to damage the corner or anything. I'll have to be careful. Um, so you can see top to bottom, not good. Left to right, very good. Um, and then the same uh, on the back. So this one probably... Man, if that was just top to bottom a little bit better, you're looking at a lot better grade. This might be lucky to get an eight, but more than likely that's a seven with centering. But won't know unless I submit it. So maybe we'll get a generous grader. And an eight would bring, you know, okay value to it. Uh, there's George Brett. That's a nice one. It's not, again, on the Brett. These actually are left to right centered well, but top to bottom, not so well. Now that's a bummer. That can be an indicator for the rest of the box, but we'll see. Uh, started off hot on this box as well. We'll see if we can continue. Buddy Bell, Willie Upshaw. If I see any of the, uh, I know that uh, some of the other rookies, there's, speaking of, one of the rookies right there, Willie McGee. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this one up as well. This one is uh, anywhere from a 30 to a $50 range in the, in the PSA 10 category. I can tell you right now, this is not a PSA 10 card just because of the centering, but it is Willie McGee's rookie card. So we'll set that one aside. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and sleeve up to George Brett too, just for the review afterwards. I mean, George Brett, he's one of the higher PSA 10s in terms of value, if you can get it there. But I gotta be careful with these penny sleeves. These are some tighter penny sleeves. They, uh... All right, I'll redo this. They, oh, and a Johnny Bench right behind now. That one is really bad on the centering. That's too bad. Top to bottom again. This is a top to bottom issue on a lot of these cards here. See if we can get through this this section. This Schmidt, that corner ding and off. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer, off. 
top to bottom. Not really. I mean, these are these are going to be raw cards at best. If you wanted to resell them, uh, you probably have to sell them not for face value, just because the centering's so bad. And there's a little, even a little corner damage to them. So I'm not sure if they'll. I'm not honestly not sure if they'll stay in the PC or not. But hopefully we can get some better. Now the centering's better on this this group right here. Maybe we can sneak in a. Uh, rookie and with good centering. I have, I had a repeat, uh, Jim Palmer, veteran. I had a repeat, I had a, a pattern, like I said earlier, and I'm looking for a Robin Yount. If I get a Robin Yount, I'm looking good. This is a very nice Wade Boggs. Centering is better all around. Um, you can obviously hear we have maybe a minor corner ding. If I bring that back in a little bit, is that going to help? Not even a little bit. The corner ding is unfortunate, but we'll sleeve up the bogs. The centering's not bad. I might be generous with an eight on that one, probably a seven. I don't think it'll go as low as a six. It's in too good of a condition. All right, we are two for three and not even halfway through the box. It's Tom Seaver, Randy Johnson. Again, not the one we're familiar with. All right, it's been good. There's Fergie. It's not bad centering on Fergie. Not perfect. I haven't been wowed by the centering on any card that I've pulled thus far in either of the two boxes that I've opened. Hoping that changes. There's a another Boggs, but not the Wade. Dave Stewart, was a good pitcher for a while. There's Dennis Eckersley. Um, centering issue again. Let's leave that up in a minute. And Chris Leonard. It's so Robin Yount, centering issue. Oh, look at that. This is the pattern, Yount and then Gwen, and neither one can be cut correctly. All right, we're gonna we're gonna breeze through this and see if we can get some more. There's Harold Baines and Bruce Suter. Yep, this pattern looks familiar. Ricky Henderson, that's actually not bad on the centering for that one. I'd have to pay closer attention to that one later. Joe Morgan. Um, okay, Gaylord Perry. We'll have to, I'll sleeve these up here in a second. Gary Carter, all-star. So we've been lucky. This is a three for three on this one. I'm ha oh, there's Cal. Cal's got a corner ding and centering issues. Still sleeve him up just because it's Cal and he's one of the more valuable in the set. Um, I mean, raw, raw, these cards are not expensive. I mean, you're looking at under, sorry, about the camera. I mean, you're looking at under five bucks for these guys. I mean, maybe a dollar for the out, maybe a dollar or two for the Cal. But, I mean, people are going to have to buy them just for their personal collection because they're going to, anybody that wants to even halfway consider getting these submitted is going to look at them and go, nope, not going to pay high price for that. Gwen, rookie, centering. Oh, so sad, so sad. Well, that's the risk you take. At least I hit. So that's the positive. We'll find the positive and say at least I hit. Eckersley, it's not bad centering. Maybe a seven or an eight if the card hold if the card looks good. Alright. Card's falling in the box. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get some repeats now. There's a Tim Raines All-Star. Larry Parrish. George Brett All-Star. That's yeah, centering wasn't as good as I thought initially. Kuzman, mentioned this in the last video, but shares a um, shares a uh, rookie card with Nolan Ryan. It's an Andre Dawson All-Star. Steve Carlton. Yeah. Allenson, Ripley. I think I've said, I think I've mentioned centering on these um, cards multiple times, but man, the centering is just disappointing. Really wish it would have been better. I'm going to pull these out a little bit and kind of lean them over so they don't fall. All right, let's see if we can get some repeats. Now, there's a good one. Ricky Henderson. He, this one's not bad on centering again either. If this is a holds up, might get lucky to get an eight. Now, when you're submitting cards, you, if you, I mean, if you want to get them slabbed and they're in good condition, that's great. But if you know the centering's off, you got to be okay with an eight coming back. I'm sometimes not, and I'd rather just sell them raw, just because I'd rather. I mean, I really want to shoot for nines and tens if I'm gonna take the time and money to submit these cards. And these aren't quite old enough yet to, uh, uh, you know, be considered like extremely vintage. Hey, Lord Perry. I mean, these are looking, this looks like a familiar pattern, but not one that gets me excited because I don't remember any rookies coming in there. 
Steve Trout, Greg Pryor. I uh, watched a lot of breaks and I, I, I mean, of uh, this online, watch YouTube. I kind of prepped myself for what to expect, okay, disappointment or excitement and excitement. And some of, some of these uh, guys didn't even pull the rookies, you know, they, they kind of struck out. And so I, I guess I should be considering myself lucky. I do know that there's the Gaetti rookie, the off-centered awfully. I mean, I guess I should be considering myself lucky to pull them, but some of the other guys that did hit actually pulled um, Ricky Henderson. I pulled better quality, like the centering was way better. They're they're probably going to get better grades on some of their cards, or they did if they submitted them already. Uh, Ricky Henderson, pitching and batting leaders. I'm just going to leave that one alone. And we've got Armas, Otis, Farmer. Let's get lucky. Let's pull, let's pull one more rookie. One more of the top three. And um, I struck out on Nolan Ryan's last box. I haven't pulled one here. Here's Jim Rice. I haven't pulled one. There's Reggie Jackson. Again, of course, if it's going to be a star, it's going to have to be awfully centered. That was top to bottom, awful again. I'm not even looking left to right on these anymore because the top to bottom is so bad. Yastrzemski, uh, super veteran. I got a hit and I pulled that last box as well. I can move through these pretty quickly here. All right, Tony Pena, Christensen, Percante. There's Nettie Murray, David Green. All right, Terry Francona, Hal McRae, son Brian played in the, uh, Jerry Harrison, and I think Jerry Harrison Jr., two dads that kids played in the, uh, in the majors after they did, obviously. Bruce Suter, super veteran. Ron Washington. I heard his name in the manager discussion again. Didn't think he'd be coming back. Raleigh Fingers. Epic mustache. Swing Jeff Burrows. There's a Raleigh Fingers again. Another mustache. Off centered, off centered. Lou Whitaker. Warren Marty. A lot of these names I haven't heard in a while. Cohen's. Tony Perez. That's a good one. That's centered decently. Dale Murphy. All star. Didn't get enough credit. Still, I think he's he's borderline Hall of Fame. I'd, I'd throw him in there if I could. Pete Rose. All star. Uh, Rose, on the other hand, I'm not sure. Suter. Now, that's probably one of the better centered cards I've seen on that super veteran there. Pete Rose. I don't know. I don't know if he gets in. That was a big deal. Whatever the, the whole issue with him. There's a couple of repeats. There's another Rose. Ken Griffey. I'm seeing some repeats here. If that Ken Griffey... There could be another rookie behind here. I think the Sandberg came behind to Griffey off the top, but we'll see if the pattern holds. Ricky Henderson, all-star. Dave Engel, Toby Hera, maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. Nah. Fisk, all-star? Nah, I don't think so. Didn't hold up. Too bad. I think Griffey. Did I open up with a Griffey? I think I did. I have to go back and watch the video again to see. Or no. Point. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Don Sutton. It's not a Centered card. Bump Wills. There's another McGee rookie. That one's better centered. That one has a better shot at a, gr at a good grade. Uh, Glenn Rockwell Ramirez. I only have a couple cards left. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up the Willie McGee rookie. This one looks good. This one actually looks fairly good. Um, this one could be. This one might be one of my better candidates. Um, looking left to right, not bad. Top to bottom, not bad. Uh, the back is not bad as well, so we're looking at possibly maybe maybe a nine if I get it again a generous generous grader. All right, last box or last part of the box: Mickey Rivers, Mike Gates, Jim Gott, a very backwards random Jim Palmer, stuck, off centered, not even not even worth it. Uh, Rick Monday, Alvis Woods, Ed Lynch, Jim Morrison, Alan Bannister, Sid Daniel, Buddy Bell, Dick Throw, Terry Crowley, and George Bam Bamberger. All right, highlights from this box. We have the very nicely centered, for the most part, William McGee. Um, Ricky Henderson, again, not bad centering on that one. Either, either Dennis Eckersley, um, improvement from the prior one in the prior box, Paul Molitor, a Cal Ripken that's awfully centered, George Brett, and the other William McGee that's actually really not that bad. Um, and then we did hit the trifecta. We got a Sandberg off-centered, a Boggs. That's not bad, not bad. Might submit that one. And a Gwen again, that is not great. So, I mean, it's the card itself is in good condition. The corners are good, the edges are good, um, but the centering is just too far off. So, uh, probably didn't make the value back on that box unless I submit to PSA. Not right. I mean, I can't guarantee that I would make back the 100 bucks, but 
it was a fun break. I enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. I actually have another vending box of 84 tops. I have a couple boxes of 93 um, Upper Deck Series 2 for some Jeters. And I have a, I'm going to do some, some Junk Wax uh, 89 uh, Don Russ for a shot at a PSA 10 Ken Griffey Jr. rookie because those are hard to get in that, that particular set. So stay tuned. i got more videos coming, guys. Thanks for watching.